What's good, Bully fam? So Martini is on heat. Wonderful news. We're taking it to size and ice. Getting a prog test done. I locked the track nice and early. So to see where her levels are at. There's nothing wrong with tracking the early. So Hustler and Martini is going down fam. Martini is on heat. She will be bred to Hustler. I can't wait for this little inshallah. You reckon? Yeah. I like it when you hold it. Hold the camera close. <laughs> Why do you have so much faith in Martini and Hustler? Bro, I got faith in my boys. I got mad faith in my boys. Straight the fuck out, bro. There's nothing locking them around. There's nothing locking their age, and I'm not just fucking talking shit. I'm stacking up against older dogs that are fully matured. This dogs are only one years old. They've still got another six to eight months of growth left in them. And this part, this growth is where they just go sideways. Cut. Uh, how you got faith in your boys? Fuck, I got big faith in my boys. I got big faith in my boys. Big faith. There's nothing locking them around. Like any pups their age, no kennel will put any pup their age next to mine. I'm stacking up against fully mature dogs that in six months time, their dog will still look the same. In six months time, my dog's gonna have more growth, bigger size, bigger head. So what do you like about Martini? I love Martini. So Martini, she's a grim great granddaughter. So my boy's a grim son, so it's a line breeding, which is not too, doubling up too much on the line. So we've got a grim great granddaughter going to a grim son. The another thing I love about Martini is her height. I fucking love her height. She's nice, short, she's thick, she's ripped up, she's got the tight skin. I love her look, she's got the straight fronts. Very, very nice, well put together bully. Thick rears. What's not to like about Martini? She's a very, very pretty bitch. Very, very pretty bitch. So, for those who don't know, tell us more about the Grim line. So, Hustler and Baller's dad, champion Rockefeller Grim. Um, his stud stick went up to 25 grand USD, which 25 grand USD is what now? Let's check 40, it out. 40, 40, you reckon 40? 40? Yeah. yeah. So his stick just went up to 25k USD, his stud stick, right? I got lucky, I bought it when it was um, 12k USD, which cost me 16 and a half Australian. And then right after I used it, months later, it went up to 25k USD. So that's like a blessing in disguise. A, well, a blessing in disguise. I, I paid for a 12k USD, it was 16 and a half Australian. Now it's 25k USD. About like three or four months after I'd done the breeding. I was yeah. like, alhamdulillah, and ain't no kennel paying 25k USD in Australia. No. I'm telling you now, because it's 50 50 chance of your bitch getting pregnant with that frozen, bro. It's like it's a hit and miss. Because where's your world country? America. Yeah. So we're bringing the stick in frozen. And not only that, the market is down, so no one's going to get the pups they want to use. To use a stick like that, bro, you, you at least want to get 15k plus the pup. And ain't no one paying that. And Queen, uh, Queenie, Queen Hustle, she's not the most extreme female. She hasn't got the biggest head, she hasn't got the wider spread, she hasn't got the thickest bone, but what she produced, <laughs> she knocked it out of the park. She knocked it out of the park for what she produced. On her first litter, straight out. You seen Queenie? Yeah. How big are her sons compared to Queenie? Yeah. Massive, bro. Massive. They're bigger than her at six months. Fuck bitches, get money. Fuck bitches, get money. So where are we? That's size on ice, we just got here, getting Martini's first prog done. We're an hour late, but they're swift, that. Hello, good thanks, how are you? I'm here for a prog test, but I'm a bit late. Oh, I'll get her out of the car. Can I get one of these and I'll pay for it at the end? My prog test? Yeah. Thank you. Where's Tony? Is he here today? No. Lazy. No. He's lazy, that Tony. He's lazy. Hey, Martini, let's go. Hey, Martini, let's go. Good girl. Good girl, Martini. Good girl, Martini. Let's go. Come on, girl. Come on, Martini. Let's go. Let's see how much you weigh. It's a little puck, it's a little micro, little monster micro. 24 kgs, 12 and a half inches to the withers. Do a stack off video. <laughs> Doing a real size on that, cuz. <laughs> this is how my rules look like, so that, look at that, she stacks for days, cuz. 
So it's text for these guys. Come here, girl. Come here, Martin. Good girl. All right. First door on the right. Yeah. Sounds good. Zero. Okay, so pretty low. Yep. Yeah, we just like it back on Saturday. Saturday? Okay. Perfect. I'll be there on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh, about nine o'clock, is that okay? That sounds good with me. Saturday, so her level's at what? 0 0.8, they said? 0 0.85. 0 0.85. Going back on Saturday. We'll see what they are on Saturday. They'll probably don't come back on Monday. Nah, it's good what to What number does it need to be? Oh, well, I forgot to. Truth, I've only done it once. <laughs> but other bidders, no. I think it's been 35 or something like that. But when it hits like... 8 or 10 it doubles, you know what I mean? It goes to 16. Oh, just then the next it. day it goes to like 30. Oh, yeah. yeah, like when it when it's, when it's, it starts doubling. It starts doubling. Today, today we're going to shoot Hustler. You know, I love shooting Hustler. It looks real good in front of the camera. Um, we're going to take him to the same park as we did Bulla. I really like them shots from that park. These boys are only a year old, they just turned a year old, they still got another six to eight months of growth left on them. And they're looking scary at their age. Their head, the mass, the bone is all there already. It was there from when they were a pup, day one years old. So, real excited for this shoot. My boy, Moe Zayn, the best videographer in town, cuz. You ain't gonna get clarity like my boy, straight the fuck out. You ain't gonna get clarity like my boy. You can go to wherever you want. Yeah, I ain't gonna get the same videography like my boy. That's the truth. And um, with that being said, other businesses, if you want to hit up my boy, Maui Zane on Instagram, but other kennels in Australia, nah. He's unallowed, because I said so. <laughs> That's where we're at. So, hustler, what are you doing, my boy? You ready to get shot today, cuz? You ready for a shoot today? I reckon he thinks he's going to get... I reckon he thinks he's going to get a collection done. I reckon he's going to plug a bitch. This boy's going to the park to get shoots. <laughs> he always gets excited. Also, I want to give a big shout out to anyone that's purchased the shirts, you know, supporting us on the journey for the likes, the comments, the shares, even the haters too, because you're obviously in the engagement up too with your hater comments. It ain't affecting me. But to every, all the real ones, man, we appreciate you all. He's the day ones, literally. I'm just getting started on building this brand, Fred Bullies, this is only the beginning. It is going to get bigger. I am going to put more work in. And um, yeah, big ups to you guys. Thank you for the support. For everyone that can't understand what I'm saying, because I'm mucked to whoever can't understand my accent. Better for me anyway. So if there's ever cops recordings in the car and that, they can't understand me. But you have to consider, <laughs> what? people that don't speak English as the first language. Yeah, the subtitles are there. No, they're not. We're what? on YouTube. I'm going to put subtitles in other languages now. Chinese, <laughs> Vietnamese, <laughs> Arabic. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about um, Bola. Bola, man, he's looking real good. So Bola, when I collected Bola the first time and when he done his surgery under his eye, he was kind of turned off his food and the heat too. It was when we had that little heat rush, 40 degree heat, he was kind of off his food and Hustler was looking better at, than him at the time because Hustler never stopped eating. But he had his days, but... As you can see, ball is all good now. His eyes all cleared. He's starting to eat how he used to eat before. He's putting the weight back on real fine. So Baller and Hustler are available for stud service. They are like celebrity studs, these studs. I guess I get stopped by randoms. They'll be like, oh, where's Baller? Where's Hustler? I'll give you randoms that aren't even in the bully game. Know their name. So if you use Baller and Hustler, I will promote your puppies on my socials. Help you push the pups. Help you sell the pups. You know what I mean? There's only so much I can do though, because you should be promoting your females, but to reach for my Instagram, I mean, um, I know Elite Bullies nearly sold out his litter, even though he had four, he's nearly sold his litter, and I think they're only like two, three weeks old. And um, I don't know how Sarah Jane's going, but with promotion wise, absolutely I'll promote your litters all over my socials. I've got a large reach on my socials, I get a large reach on my story numbers. So anyone that's work, uh, willing to work with my kennel, then absolutely I'm going to share your pups for you. And if you're not working with your kennel, are they? And if you're not working with my kennel, the truth is, I see it as competition. You know, it's either you're fucking with federal or you're not. If you're not, that's all good, but it's on a competition.
So bring on the friendly competition. Inshallah, I'm going to knock out all my competition. Inshallah. For anyone who's not working with Fedru, I say this is my competition. That's it. That's how it is, right out. Yeah, we're all friends, we're all shakens, whatever, whatnot, but the competition, friendly competition, there's nothing wrong with that. The ones that work with me, I want the best for your yard just as I want the best for mine. Shut the fuck out. I worry about your yards like I worry about mine. But whoever's not fucking with me, competition. We've done really well today, the shots turned out a cracker. Can't wait to see the end result. And that's a wrap for today. The aircon on, so it stays cool. Hey boy, you done well today, my boy. He's tired. <laughs> Ahlen, Ahlen. Yeah. Big shout out to the videographer for the quality, quality reels. Quality. Ain't no one coming close, bro. Ain't naked no one coming close. So today we've got an emergency stunt service for Bola. I'm not gonna mention the kennel or the kennel's name or the bitch he's, he's bringing bread to. I'll let them come out of it once the breeding is done. Um, his, his, his female was on one, about, her levels were about one, three, four days ago. She's on 42 today, so she's skyrocketed high. You know, when it comes to the bully game and start service, just know I'm always going to be there and I'm always going to be on time. There's no fucking around when it comes to this shit. Just got the Colton, we've got Baller, about to do the collection. Can't record inside, so we'll jump back on the camera after the collection. Uh, so we just collected Baller, produced seven and a half mils, real happy with that. Waiting to get the same room port. Um, Good luck to the kennel using him. Wish you all the best. Thank you for choosing Baller. Um, these boys are the truth. Anyone that sees them and puts hands on them knows they are the truth. That's why you're seeing all these kennels using these dogs, man. They look better in person than they do in their reels and in their photos. As a matter of fact, that's what the kennel owner just said now, that, that photos and the, and the reels don't give this boy justice. So if that being said, I will be sending their semen to New Zealand. So New Zealand, yeah, Hassan and Bola are on their way to get collected to be sent there. I think I'll be sending like three or four of each stud. And in six months' time, we are raising the fee on Bola and Hustler. Like, straight the fuck out. Their fee's currently at 5k, but we're raising the fee in six months' time to leave meat on the bone for their future sons, because I'm going to have an army of studs. Studs are going to be mine. The stud game's going to be mine. Alright fam, so we currently have the Fetch Bullies shirts currently all in stock now, all sizes are in stock. We bring out a new size range, size small, so head to our link on our bio to order more shirts.